Just recently, the Bank of Japan decided that there will be no more short-term rate hikes in the near future due to market volatility. And so over the past 24 hours, we're seeing a healthy rebound in the market with a lot of these projects up 5, 10, 15, even over 20%, specifically XRP. With the recent news of the $125 million settlement that Ripple has to pay, XRP just became the first digital asset to get regulatory clarity in US history. And although this is very good news, there's lots of fake news that you have to be careful of popping up out there, like the Bank of America America declaring use of XRP following Ripple's victory, JP Morgan announcing that they're accepting XRP for credit card and mortgage payments. So in this video, we're going to discuss if that's actually true or if that's a complete load of BS and also what to expect over the next 60 days and the reason why David Schwartz hasn't said anything about the case being finished yet and the reason why XRP is still stuck in the 60 cent range and the most likely scenario to happen next in the short term for the XRP to the US dollar price chart. We're discussing the XRP market cap dominance compared to the rest of the altcoin market, XRP to the Ethereum price chart and my predictions for the future, along with XRP to the Bitcoin price chart in the most likely case scenario in the short term, the midterm, and the long term. On top of that, what the Democrats are planning on doing for their crypto campaign into election, what Vladimir Putin over in Russia just did that is going to absolutely catapult the crypto market, the Bitcoin chart compared to the COVID crash and the reason why I'm personally very, very bullish. And we're also comparing the crypto total market cap excluding Bitcoin to Amazon back in the early 2000s and what I expect to happen over the next 10 10, 20, 30, 40, and even 50 years. Also, if you watch to the end of this video, you'll learn what I'm doing to earn between 1,000 and 2,000 XRP per day through the number one play to earn XRP game. So if you guys are feeling bullish, comment 777. If you're feeling blessed, comment 777. And as always, if you're going to become the first millionaire in your family tree, confirm it by tapping the subscribe button. Let's run it. All right, bull runners, welcome back to the channel. So let's dive right in. Let's talk about the altcoin market cap right now. When we look at the whole industry bouncing over the past 24 hours, virtually everything is in green. It's a good day in the markets, especially for XRP holders. However, we're going to discuss where XRP is most likely to go in the short term by the end of this video. So hang tight. But first, let's talk about the crypto total market cap and let's compare back to the past. Because in previous videos, we talked about how in terms of the time frame extended from the bear market bottom of where we theoretically should be on the price chart on the left hand side of the screen, on the right hand side of the screen, we were looking at where we were from, you know, about August to October of 2020 during the last bull run. Now, if you look on the left hand side of the screen, this dip that took place recently from the recent local high at 11th of March 2024, the crash was about 37%. Now, that's not the worst crash in world in the world. We've seen that many times during that 2017 bull run. Um, however, it's a lot more drastic than the crash that took place at the end of 2020 of about 23%. Where we saw the biggest crashes take place was from June of 2019 all the way down to March of 2020. So if we just trace the chart up, you know, what we're going through right now is a similar market structure to what we saw from the 24th of June, 2019, all the way until like December of 2019, where we just saw a series of lower highs followed by lower lows. We were in this bearish channel until we saw this break of structure right here on the 13th of January, breaking from this descending resistance to form a new high. And sure enough, you guys know that the elite love to manipulate markets. They manipulate the stock market, they manipulate the precious metals market. You best believe that when you have all the money in the world, you can manipulate the cryptocurrency market because anyone can come in and buy or sell cryptos on leverage, whether they're longing or shorting the market. And when you stack that on top of a macro pandemic, you get situations like this where you see the crypto market crash in a matter of one month over 60 percent. So this right here was a massive bull trap because everyone thought that the market was just going to keep recovering out of here because we did form a new high by the 10th of February of 2020. However, black swan events can take place at any moment. So if we just trace this chart right here, we compress it on the left hand side of the screen for where we are right now, we can see a similar market structure where we see a series of lower highs right here, which is resistance followed by lower lows, which is the support. So I know it would be nice to be in this situation where we were right here back at the tail end of 2020, but it's more comparable to where we were between June of 2019 to July of 2020. Although I don't think it's going to take 490, nearly 500 days to break out to the upside, it could be quite possible that we just see a more compressed version of what took place from 2019 to 2020. And going into election, I would expect there to be some positive market news. Now, looking at the stochastic RSI on the right-hand side of the screen to the left-hand side of the screen, the K line is at 20, the D line is at 35. We just recently saw a bearish cross on the 
weekly. We do want to see the K line pass above the D line and go back into positive momentum leading into the end of this month and going into September, October, November, and December. Similar to what happened from December of 2019 until like February of 2020, where we saw a recovery for the market from about you know $160 billion upwards of $307 billion. Then depending on how high that recovery rally will be, we really have to question if there's a potential black swan event with the Fed dropping interest rates rapidly, if there's some massive shakeout event that takes place after election, after the hype about Democrats and Republicans trying to get crypto votes dies down. So post-election, early 2025 is gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be very sticky. So if we draw the trend line from the market low of November of 2022 and just connect that to the 18th of September, that could bring us all the way back down to about $1.4 trillion for the industry. So maybe we touch that trend line in the summer of 2025. Maybe we never touch it, or maybe we touch it during the next bear market. Let's talk about the data and let's talk about the facts and what's the most likely case scenarios to happen in the short term, midterm, and long term. So let's discuss the short term because the lawsuit versus the Ripple versus the SEC, Ripple has to pay $125 million. XRP just became the first digital asset to get regulatory clarity in US history. However, it's not completely over yet. David Schwartz was just asked how come he hasn't said anything about the XRP case finally ending. And he says there's a lot of things he wants to say, and on most things, he just says them. But during the next 60 days, both sides will have some important decisions to make, and he'd hate for something he tweeted to affect that. So, what does that mean? It's not just appeals, whether the SEC wants to appeal the decision or anything for the past, or Ripple wants to appeal the amount that they have to pay, but there's also non-disclosure agreements. So there's a big debate out there right now about how much time they have to appeal because people are saying that they have 60 hours, not days after the verdict to appeal. Brad Garlinghouse has said that Ripple will not appeal. So the SEC now has time until tomorrow, which is the 9th of August to file an application for appeal against the judgment, not 60 days. But is that actually true? On top of that, we got people out there posting that the Bank of America declares use of XRP following Ripple's lawsuit victory, and JP Morgan is announcing that they're accepting XRP for credit cards and mortgages. But nowhere online have I seen an official statement from JP Morgan Chase or an endorsement from Bank of America. These are really just articles being published out there from a lot of fake news platforms to get engagement. And then they say stuff like customers will be able to use XRP for payments and earn cash back through the XRP ledger system and a CTF token. And then you go to the website and it says blockchain generated passive income reward its framework. But there's nothing on here about this being backed by JP Morgan or Bank of America or anything. There's nothing about the team on the website, which is not the issue because obviously there's a lot of projects out there that don't have the teams on the website that do very, very well. The issue is when they claim that JP Morgan is accepting XRP for credit card payments and mortgage payments, and then allowing customers to use XRP for payments to earn cash back through the CTF tokens. So this is all just a bunch of BS. Unless you guys have an official statement, post that in the description below. I haven't seen any out there. I would stay clear of accounts like this that share this stuff. I mean, this one got 1,900 likes, 734 retweets. So people are sharing it everywhere because they're not doing their due diligence. So that's why you subscribe to the channel and you like these videos because we're getting to the bottom of things and researching more about Ripple to figure out what's actually going on. So Fred Rispoli said this saying, overall win for Ripple, although he's surprised at the 125 million, everyone was expecting it to be a lot closer to 10 million. The biggest takeaways from the ruling is that the current sales of XRP post complaint do not violate federal law that battle is for another day meaning a new lawsuit number two he called that the judge would essentially grant an injunction that ripple could not violate federal law that's where we leave it the sec lost bigly where the court refused to grant a categorical injunction on all institutional sales especially on on-demand liquidity there's no disgorgement which is a huge loss for the sec here ripple did not rec recklessly disregard regulatory requirements and today starts the 60 countdown to the deadline to file an appeal now i thought this was a good point right here because if the Democrats allow Gary to appeal right before the election, that would completely wreck their pro-crypto stance. So if the Biden administration appeals this ruling, then Democrats are not a friend to crypto and everyone will remember come November. So what do you guys think will happen? Do you think that the SEC will wait until 59 days to file an appeal or will they take the hundred plus million and try to convince the people that aren't paying attention to details that they got a W in this case. Also, it would be very counterintuitive to the Democrats launching a crypto for Harris campaign to counter Trump's industry appeal, where they're planning to host a virtual town hall meeting next week with a working speaker lineup that includes billionaire 
Mark Cuban, Skybridge Capital founder, and a Trump critic, Anthony Scaramucci, and a handful of Democratic members of the House of Representatives. So until we know for certain whether the SEC or Ripple will appeal the case, regardless of he said, she said, we need to know by law that there are no more appeals allowed, then that will be the moment that XRP has no brakes on it because there's still a governor on the golf cart, so to speak, as we get ready to go camping on the beaches of the moon. We have this descending resistance to look at on the price chart. So when fundamental analysis in the news and all the hype and all the media gets out out there and they start blasting the news everywhere, which is happening over the past 24 to 48 hours of them winning the lawsuit. But we look at the technical analysis on the charts and it doesn't line up. XRP is still stuck at 62 cents. We then need to look at key indicators and in the most likely scenario to happen in the short term because there's micro, 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 meaning what's going to happen on the minutes to the hours. Then there's what happens on the day, then the week, then the month, and then the years. So over the next few days, XRP is most likely going to stay within this range or shoot higher unless the SEC comes out out sooner and says they would appeal, then the price will most likely crash. But if we look at key indicators, like I talked about yesterday, in the past 14 times that the stochastic RSI was above 80 for the K line and the D line, you can see shortly after that, the price corrected to the downside. So what I would expect over the next few days for XRP is just a washing machine trading action as we hold through this level. If there's an appeal from the SEC, I would expect the price to come back down in the short term simultaneously. I would expect the stochastic RSI to break below 80 for the K line and the D line to confirm a bearish cross. Now, does that mean the stochastic RSI will drop all the way below 20? No, not necessarily, because if you guys look back here on what happened from August 8th of 2022 until the 5th of September, we saw the reversal in the stochastic R side of the downside, but it held support relatively well right after the bear market bottom and then shot up to the upside. Very similar to what happened right here as well too, from about the 30th of January, 2023 to the 6th of March, XRP consolidated between 43 cents and about 35 cents and then shot to the upside shortly after that, where the K line and the D line were all the way above 90. Then we saw a bearish cross and the price come down in the short term. However, the stochastic RSI stayed within this range right here, well above 20, right around 50, whereas the price just held support and then ultimately broke back again to the upside. So if there's no appeal, that would be a likely scenario where the price just kind of holds around this descending resistance right here until we get ultimate clarity that there's going to be no appeals, lawsuits completely finished, and there's no breaks on XRP for it to finally break this descending resistance and shoot upwards of a dollar or more. Then we could potentially see the stochastic RSI bounce back above 80 again. And then depending on how high the price goes, we'll really determine how high we go on the stochastic RSI on the weekly. So what I'm doing right now before XRP absolutely explodes is focusing on how I can accumulate as much as humanly possible. And on top of that, earning massive crypto rewards, the number one play to earn XRP game, because this project right here, guys, is paired to XRP in the liquidity pool. And so with the recent positive news about XRP, this project shot up 28%. Now, I think this is really awesome because the game is super simple. It takes less than 10 minutes per day to play. I've already earned over the past few weeks, 187 of these tokens just playing this game. And actually only takes me like 30 seconds to really play it. So 10 minutes is if you're brand new to really get everything set up for the first time. But if you do the math here, 187 tokens times by $113 per crypto token is about $21,000. So although I make no guarantees that you're gonna make any money in crypto because crypto is very risky, as I said in the beginning of this video, you could lose money in these markets. I do wanna give you guys that path way so you can be able to learn how to earn more crypto with this play to earn XRP game. And all you need to do right now is just go to the link in the description below or go to bullrunners.com, click the button on the page, put in your best email address. You'll be instantly subscribed to our daily video newsletter. And then on the other side, in less than 10 minutes, you can watch this eight minute video. You can get started right now and you can discover how to earn crypto rewards as well too. Because about two weeks ago, this project was about $50. The market cap was under $2 million. The market cap is now at $3 million and it's still a micro cap gem with lots of potential this entire bull run. And the better that XRP does, the more awareness this project will generate because more people are going to start flocking over to the top projects on the XRP ledger. So it's the number one liquidity pool and it's the first play to earn game on XRP. So let's dive into XRP's market cap dominance and let's talk about where we are right now in the short term, where we're going in the midterm and the long term, because right now we're at about 1.7%. We did bounce out of this zone of support that we are at back here in December of 2020 until March of 2021. We're also back here in January of 2017 until March of 2017. We just recently saw a bullish cross on the monthly chart on the stochastic RSI, well below 20 down here when the K line D line were at like one or two. So this is incredibly bullish news on the macro for the long term because the K line just passed above 20. It's sitting at 24. However, the D line is at 11. So to confirm this bullish cross, we would want the D line in orange 
to pass above 20 alongside the K line. Simultaneously, we would want to see XRP's market cap dominance trend all the way up to this descending resistance to roughly around two to 3%. This is why what's happening for XRP right now is being compared to 2017, because when we saw bullish cross all the way down here on March, XRP's market cap dominance absolutely skyrocketed from below 1% all the way up here to over 31%. Now, because XRP's market cap is somewhere around $30 billion, I don't think it's gonna be that drastic. Although I do think XRP has a lot of room to run in the short term because it's been suppressed for so long because of this lawsuit. So we need to watch this descending resistance right here. And if we can come all the way up to it and garner between two and 3% of the market cap, well, if we take the whole industry at about $2 trillion and we times that by 0.03%, that will give XRP a market cap of about $60 billion. And currently right now, XRP's market cap is about $34 billion. So almost a 2X, which would be very fitting because this is a very strong zone of resistance right here around the 3% mark. And that would be roughly around $1.20 for XRP, which simultaneously enough is also resistance all the way up here from the 9th of August until the 8th of November, between $1.20 to about $1.40. So what that could look like for XRP, that wouldn't be out of the ordinary because we saw it happen before the past few bull runs where these massive green candles were printed over the course of one to two weeks is we could see XRP rally up very, very fast and then consolidate around this range and see a sell-off to backtest previous zones of resistance as support, which would be roughly this zone right here around a dollar, and then consolidate throughout 2025 post-election after the whole Democrat versus Republican for crypto votes news dies down. So depending on how explosive the next move up is for XRP will really determine where we consolidate at in the midterm. But long-term, I think that move between a dollar to $2 for XRP in the short term is just the start. And I do think XRP, even with a black swan or shakeout event that could bring XRP all the way back down to like 50 cents, I think long-term XRP is gonna make a massive move to retest the previous high of April 2021 and eventually the true all-time high of $3 or more. And so my midterm price target for XRP, although I could be completely wrong, but for this bull run, I think it's between like $5 to $30 on the bullish case scenario. I think it's gonna take until 2030 before we do anything beyond that. And the reason why is because of the Federal Reserve interest rate pivot that's coming up here very soon, potentially with their first rate cut in September due to what Japan did for the markets. Now, if the Fed doesn't cut rates, that's going to go completely against the expectations on the CME Fed watch tool where 100% are expecting rate cuts. So people think that rate cuts are good for the market. They are once it settles down, but in the first initial drop where the Fed drops rates, it is a disaster. And I've proven that in previous videos. So don't listen to anyone that's told you otherwise, because you're not listening to me when I say that. You were listening to the facts in some of my previous videos where I've shown you the 2008 market crash, the 2000 market crash. Now, sure, this time could be different, but we do law of average we weigh the probabilities and then we just adjust our portfolio according to that. Now, when we look at the XRP to the Ethereum price chart, I talked about a breakout happening on the chart, regardless of the whole lawsuit news. It's funny, you know, whether you want to call it God timing or just massive market manipulation from the elite. Sure enough, XRP bounced to Ethereum to this descending resistance right here. Now in the short term, we can see on the stochastic RSI on the weekly, the K line is at 100, the D line is at 100. So we are in overbought conditions on the weekly. So I would expect XRP to just consolidate and kind of cool off, maybe come back down within this zone right here as support before the next major move up towards closer to election once that 60 day appeal period is done. The SEC hasn't appealed, Ripple hasn't appealed. Now, if they appeal, then it's gonna take a lot longer. The price might come down. We might do a double bottom all the way down here, comparison to Ethereum. But at some point, XRP to Ethereum is going to break this descending resistance, and we're gonna see a massive rally to the upside in comparison to the Ethereum. Also, we're gonna see a massive rally for XRP's market cap dominance up to this descending resistance as well too. And that's just the start, guys, because even if we see a consolidation at this level, and even for XRP to come down in the short term in the summer of 2025, eventually, I would expect a break of this descending resistance in terms of XRP's market cap dominance and for XRP to absorb a large chunk of the industry. Because Brad Garlinghouse said it himself, he said 99% of the industry is going to get wiped out. XRP is the only cryptocurrency that has real clarity. The SEC can go after all these other companies to create FUD in the short term if they really wanted to after election. Unless Gary Gensler is fired, Donald Trump gets into office because he said that his first step would be to fire Gary Gensler. If that's the case, then there's no breaks on the industry at all. And virtually everything is going to skyrocket until the Fed decides to drastically cut rates. We go into World War III, some nukes fly out there. That would be the black swan event that we have to prepare for. But the macro long term is looking incredibly bullish, not just for XRP but for the rest of the crypto industry. Because guys, I think you're underestimating what's possible here. Look at the market cap of the whole industry. It's at $2 trillion. 
dollars. Yes, we saw $2 trillion get wiped out of the stock market in 24 hours, but people don't take into account how massive the stock market it is. It's nearly what, like $70 trillion, almost $100 trillion. So the crypto market is not even like a couple percentage points of the overall stock market's market cap, let alone the derivatives market in the hundreds of trillions, arguably like how many quadrillions of dollars that is. Global debt's over $35 trillion now. The foreign exchange market is trillions of dollars per day. The SWIFT market is trillions of dollars per day. So I think people just underestimate how much money could fly into this market really quick because they have poor memories like goldfish due to social media rot rotting their brains. So they they don't remember past bull runs. And most of the retail wasn't even in the markets right here. I was in the markets by February, 2017. I saw what happened. Now, it was very drastic. It was very rapid for XRP. And you know, I was buying XRP at like 20 cents. I was buying like Cardano, Chainlink at those low prices. And I saw my portfolio absolutely skyrocket. But the mistake that I made was not selling at the top. I round tripped my bags to the bottom. So this bull run, when you subscribe to the channel and you like this video, I'm gonna tell you when I'm hedging out my portfolio. And that doesn't mean that you should, because obviously I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm gonna show you key indicators. I'm gonna show you the facts on the charts. So I hope that's okay with you. And then if I interject my opinion, you can completely disregard it if you want, but I base my opinion on facts. Let's look at the facts here. XRP, the Bitcoin price chart on the weekly. Where are we on the stochastic RSI? The K line's at 100, the D line's at 100. We are overvalued, even though XRP hasn't really rallied up that much. So we can stay within this overvalued range for an extended period of time as XRP goes through this washing machine of price action within the zone of resistance. But I would expect there to be either a potential pullback for XRP compared to Bitcoin as Bitcoin breaks out from the all-time high and starts getting closer to 90 to $100,000. XRP would underperform compared to Bitcoin as XRP just cools off and just kind of hangs out here. Bitcoin would start outperforming the rest of the markets. Then when Bitcoin's dominance drops, then I would expect XRP to absolutely explode to the upside. Similar to what we saw right here between December of 2020 to April of 2021, it was a false breakout for XRP. And simultaneously, if you guys look at these points that I circled on the XRP, the Bitcoin price chart, when we were above 80 on the stochastic RSI and we saw bearish crosses take place, nearly every single one of them, actually not nearly, 100% of them resulted in a sell-off. Now, the real question is if we do something like this where the sell-off is not that steep. For example, look right here when we saw a bearish cross in September uh, or October, like right around here, September to October of 2014, the pullback for XRP to Bitcoin was very small. It was only like 26%. And then we only came down right about here on the K line of 70. So we didn't come down back below 20, like a lot of people were expecting. We just cooled off right here. And then we absolutely skyrocketed to the upside from 14th of November. And look at these green candles that were printed for XRP, where XRP to Bitcoin just massively outperformed Bitcoin by 600%. We could do something like that. Or if we wanna compare this to 2017 of what took place when the stochastic RSI went all the way up here uh, with the K line about 98, we saw a bearish cross. We saw the exact same thing happen where the K line, the D line came back down here. We saw another bullish cross right around 50. And that's when the price did this dip right here. So 100% of the time there was a dip the only question is how deep that dip will be that will get bought up for XRP compared to Bitcoin because this dip was about 62% compared to Bitcoin. And then look at the bounce from there. It was monumental. That's when XRP, you know, initially rallied up to like, I don't know, it was like 40 or 60 cents, then consolidated there for like 100 plus days and then rallied from that to over $3 for the all time high, you know. So that's when we saw a 900% right there. And then ultimately by like January of 2018 was the real all time high. And so this was actually 40 cents or so for XRP. Then it cooled off. It dropped 100% compared to Bitcoin. We saw a bullish cross down here on the stochastic RSI on the weekly. And then boom, the price shot up again. The stochastic RSI rocketed all the way up here. This was the all time high for XRP compared to Bitcoin. So what we're going to look at here is closer to the tail end of this bull run quarter four of 2025 is where XRP is on the stochastic RSI in, is in compared to Bitcoin. And also where we are at these levels somewhere all the way up here in compared to Bitcoin, because where we are right now, you know, yes, in the short, short term, we are over bought compared to Bitcoin. That's why I would expect there to be a pullback, but I don't expect the pullback to be that deep because we already are very, very close 
to this macro support that we bounced off multiple times right here in uh, June of 2014, right here before the explosion in 2017, right here back in January of 2021 to April of 2021 before we absolutely skyrocketed. So the pullback, I expect it to be very small, maybe 20 to 50% comparison to Bitcoin. And that doesn't mean, guys, that XRP would do bad. That just means that Bitcoin would do better and XRP could just hold the support at like 50 to 60 cents. That's all that that means. And so it just means in the short term, it's smart to be in Bitcoin if you are day trading. Now, if you're just a long-term holder in the long term, it's smarter to hold XRP just based on the facts here. So if I just trace up the past few times that we saw the stochastic RSI above 80, and then correct down, then pop back up, one of them would look like this, where XRP just goes through this washing machine, sees a little bit of a dip, but then ultimately skyrockets. The next time is something like this, where we see a rally up, dip, skyrockets. The time after that, XRP literally just exploded, and then the, the dip was all the way, it would be all the way up here somewhere. So that's why personally, I'm just stacking as much XRP as humanly possible. Also, Putin just signed laws legalizing Bitcoin and crypto mining over in Russia. And so he pays attention to Trump. They actually have a mutual level of respect for each other. So with Trump coming out and saying that he wants to make crypto mining like America, the United States of America, the crypto capital of the planet for Bitcoin mining, do you think Putin's just going to sit there and let that happen? No, it's like the space race to be the first on the moon. You know, they're going to compete with each other. And so all these other countries are going to follow suit when Trump says stuff. And guess what the Democrats are doing? They're following suit now because they don't want to lose to Trump. And so the Bitcoin chart is looking a lot like the 2020 COVID crash. So either we've already seen this, this V-shaped right here for COVID. It's just smaller of a crash because there are no black swans right now. Or we're right before point number two with this recovery rally, and then they shake everyone out one final time. World War Three, perfect opportunity to back up the truck for that dip. Because if you would have bought the COVID, the true COVID crash, guys, you would be sitting on so much money right now that you probably would never have to work a day again in your life. So even if there is a bigger shakeout to the downside, and we see the crypto total market cap come back down to this trend line at about you know six hundred billion dollars, then I'm just going to take whatever money I have on the sidelines and just dump it all into crypto because ultimately. I would expect the price to recover and go into a massive parabolic rally quarter four of 2025. Now, if we compare the crypto total market cap to Amazon, you know, just compressed, obviously, because this is over the course of more years for Amazon. But we look at the key indicator on the MACD. You know, we saw some similarities here where we saw a bounce from the bottom of about 26 cents upwards of about three dollars. And then we saw this extended consolidation period for Amazon before the next major breakout. Simultaneously on the MACD, we saw the MACD line in blue above the signal line in orange. We saw a bearish cross right here. Then simultaneously lower highs followed by lower lows for an extended period of time. And then the MACD line trended down until the next breakout came to the upside to pass the previous high for a trend reversal. So right now on the left-hand side of the screen, we can see the MACD line in blue above the signal line in orange. However, there's a momentum shift on the histogram. You guys can see how we go from green to like a light green and we start rolling over. Simultaneously, the MACD line is rolling over right here. So I'm not saying that this is gonna happen, but if we see a bearish cross right here and it's not a fake out and we see the MACD line cross below the signal line in orange, similar to what happened in Amazon back in 2004, then it would just look something like this on the price chart where we would see a recovery going into election but forming a lower high than post-election, a sell-off, a shakeout event back down to this trend line, then ultimately lulling in the summer of 2025, the Fed pivoting on rates, everyone freaking out, and then ultimately us trending back to the upside. So this, in my opinion, would be the worst case scenario for the crypto market, is another dip down, back down to the trend line. But again, it depends on how you see that. I see it as an opportunity to buy more. Because imagine if you would have bought Amazon back in 2006 for $1.30, that was your last chance to get Amazon at those prices before it absolutely skyrocketed to the upside and went just on a multi-decade, nearly 20-year bull run to over $165. So if we just measure from $1.30 to where we are right now, that's over 12,000%. Now, as you guys know, crypto is even more parabolic than that. So I don't know if people are truly ready for how parabolic this market is about to get, not only over the next 12 to 24 months, but over the next 5, 10, 15, 15, even 20 years. I don't see why we, we wouldn't see the market by like 2050, somewhere upwards of $30 trillion, even by 2030 over the next six years. That's only like a 10 to a 15X from where we are right now. And that's still only like 30% of what the total stock market is. So a lot of people have asked me, what is my number one way to earn massive crypto rewards this entire bull run before we get into the euphoria stage 
of the market cycle. Well, if you go to xrpl.to, you guys will see a lot of different altcoin projects listed on the XRP ledger. And virtually nobody knows about this, nor is anyone really paying attention to it right now because the price of XRP has been suppressed during the entire Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. But over the next few years, as Ripple and XRP gets more traction, a lot of the projects on the XRP ledger are going to gain a lot of attention. And one of my buddies showed me a project on the XRP ledger that is the first play to earn game on XRP where you're able to earn crypto rewards simply for playing the game. Now, if you guys wanna see what that game is, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below this video. All you have to do is click more when you scroll down and it'll show get started here. It'll take you to a page that looks like this. You simply just register, create a free account. You enter in your username, your email address, your password, and then your gender. And then you just click sign up at the bottom and it's gonna take you into the back office of the members area. Now I wanna explain really quick the benefit of playing this game to earn crypto rewards because the coolest part about the game is the ticker of the altcoin is literally called crypto it's a micro cap very very tiny project that virtually nobody knows about right now and one of my buddies showed me this game and i'm already earning about 10 crypto per day which is about a thousand xrp but there's no guarantee that you're going to earn 10 crypto per day or a thousand xrp per day because your results are obviously going to vary playing the game depending at what level you come in at so i want to be very clear that results aren't typical and this is just purely for fun to see what happens for the rest of this bull run as the xrp ledger gains more adoption so once you've created your free account through the link in the description below the next thing that you're going to need is an xrp wallet now the best wallet online right now is the zaman wallet and it's the largest and most secure XRP custodial cold storage wallet. So it's also a mobile app on your phone where you get your private keys for the wallet. It's comparable to a ledger or a Trezor cold storage device, but the best for holding XRP. And this is what you're gonna need to be able to play the game to earn crypto rewards. So again, below this video, you're gonna see a tutorial video right here that breaks down exactly how to set up your wallet, how to be able to fund it with XRP so you can start playing the game and everything in between. So after you've created your free community account and you have your XRP wallet, the next step is to log in to the back office of your account and at the top, you're gonna to see these four little icons right here. You simply click this, you go to my DGP, you scroll down and then you click purchase combo. In the bottom left, you're gonna click this little plus icon. So it shows one combo pack. Click these little three boxes right here and then you purchase with your XRP wallet. And then all you need to do is open up your Zomin wallet on your phone. Click this little icon right here at the bottom. And then you simply scan the code on the screen. And it's going to pop up. Right now it's 5,000 XRP to get your digital game pieces to be able to play the game and earn crypto rewards. And I'm going to show you the game in a little bit and how awesome it is because the founder of this dumped millions of dollars in development into this game and has been working on it since 2020. So this is hands down the best play to earn game to earn crypto rewards on the XRP ledger. So I spent about 15,000 XRP on my digital game pieces because I want to be able to maximize the game. And so far, just recently, I'm earning 10 crypto per day, which is about 1,000 XRP per day. So you can do the math over the course of a month on what those rewards will look like. And I can swap crypto for XRP. So I'm just going to keep stacking my digital game pieces to maximize my crypto rewards. Because you also have to take into account that crypto is the in-game currency. So as more people start catching on to the XRP ledger and they start playing the game during rewards, then the popularity of the crypto token will increase. So obviously, there's no guarantees of any profits here, but you do not want to miss out on this as more people start learning about XRP over the next few years. So all I'm going to do to get my digital game pieces is slide to accept on my XRP wallet. And it says the payment was submitted successfully. Now all I'm going to do is refresh the page. I go to my DGP assets. That simply stands for digital game pieces. And you're going to see I got one Cryptopian, a crypto land, a box, a key, a vial, and a crystal. So I'm simply just going to click claim on each of these. I'm going to open my Zomin wallet again. I'm going to click this icon right here to scan the code on the screen. And I'm just going to slide to accept. And as soon as I've claimed my digital game piece, I'm going to click reveal. And it shows me what class this is in. And one of the coolest parts about this game is each of the digital game piece reveals are random. So you could get between a level one to a level 10. So I'm going to click claim to reveal the land now. And then I just scan the code and slide to accept on my XRP wallet. And it just shows this little countdown thing right here as it reveals which land I have. So as you can see, that was a level one land. You guys might get a different level. On a previous pack, I got a level nine. And depending on the level that you get determines the crypto rewards that you earn daily. Now, after you've revealed your digital game pieces to be able to play the game to start earning crypto rewards in the top of your back office, you click the icon right here with the four squares. Then you simply click the game. And then you click the button on the center of the screen that says enter the game. And then you're gonna see several in-game actions here like rent, mine, thieve govern rule enhance and bank so depending on which avatar you got will determine whether you mine you thieve you govern or you rule 
And then for your land, you can collect rent on your land every single day in crypto, which is awesome. So in this case, I would click on Thieve, click continue. So underneath available, I simply select my Cryptopian. I select the duration in days. In this case, it'd be one. And then I click this little icon right here. It's going to pop up this and it shows me the daily production. In this case is 0.4 crypto tokens. So depending on when you're watching this video, crypto might be at a different price. Right now it's at about $53. So all I need to do is confirm the action and it's going to say it's processed successfully. And then it's underneath active and it has a countdown timer right here in terms of time remaining until it goes back into the available section again. So you can see 23 hours and 59 minutes. Now, once this is done, my crypto balance is going to top up with an extra 0.4. Right now it's at about 44.39. And if I go back to the main page and I click on rent and click continue, you can see that I have an available land that I can collect rent on. So I simply select the land. I select the amount of days that I want it to collect rent, one days, three days, or seven days. So this can be as passive or as active as you want, but I'm gonna click this icon right here. It's gonna pop up and it's gonna show me the daily production. And then I just confirm the action. Now you can see underneath active, I have a level one, level four, level eight, and a level nine. And then it shows me the time remaining on each of these land pieces that are collecting rent right now in crypto rewards which is awesome and so at the bottom of the screen right here you can see crypto total net that's about 14.96 crypto tokens so let's just round that up to 15 and if i were to swap 15 crypto for xrp it's about 1554 xrp now that's obviously not a guarantee that you're going to earn the same amount of crypto tokens because as you can see i have more pieces of land here because i decide to purchase more packs because i want to be able to stack up the amount of crypto tokens i earn over time throughout the rest of this entire bull run before we get into the euphoria stage. So I'm just gonna continue to stack crypto tokens playing this game for fun because as more attention gets drawn over to the XRP ledger, I can see more and more users playing crypto land for fun every single day to earn crypto rewards. So again, all you need to do right now to get started is go into the link in the description below this video, create your account, once you have your Zaman XRP wallet and you've loaded it with XRP, following the tutorial below, then the back office, you click the icon at the top, you click my DGP, and then you purchase your combo pack to be able to reveal your digital game pieces. So you can buy one or you can buy multiple right now because the more combo packs that you get, the more pieces of land that you're going to be able to get to be able to collect rent on each and every single day. And then if you choose to get the crypto token on the secondary market, that's up to you. Or you can just play the game for fun to be able to earn crypto rewards like I'm doing right now. So once the time expires on each of these active pieces of land, I'm going to collect all of the rent in crypto and it's going to top up my balance right here where you can see 44. So check it out. I know you guys are going to absolutely love it. And again, we're going to have a tutorial as well, too, on some different strategies, beginner, intermediate, and advanced to be able to maximize this game. That way you can benefit the entire bull run as XRP explodes. So all you need to do right now is click the links below. If you go to bullrunners.com, you're also going to get early alerts on explosive altcoins daily market analysis videos for breaking news updates like this, and you'll discover our best ways to be able to maximize the crypto land game to earn the most amount of crypto rewards this entire bull run. Because together, we believe that the spending power of the dollar is just gonna keep going down in value. That's a fact based on inflation, blockchain technology, distributed ledger technology, and cryptocurrencies have been going up in value over the past decade. That's the truth, and together, we're all going camping on the beaches of the moon. I'll see you guys on the next video. I will see you on bullrunners.com through the links below. As always, you know what to do, stay bullish.